thought I'd show you. Uh, this is that second. Let me see if I can see it. This is the second line I just removed off the uh, the starter relay. Just want to show you the current route that it's taking. Nothing fancy or complicated. That's a uh, chunk of tape. That's actually that same mounting point. Let me go from the other side. It's the same mounting point as uh, the negative. I'll show you from better from the other side. See here. I just use it's kind of like just a sled that's clipped into the frame here. So it's the same on the other side over there. So it's already actually there. You go. I already unclipped it. Well, I pulled it off the tape. So you get a better view of that. See if you can see that there. That's spinning. So your little wire tie on this side, wire tie on that side, locks it in place. There's somebody had it with just tape. I don't know why. But a uh, white tire work better. So this is the positive. It's not, you know, spaghetti didn't say anything. Pain in the ass, complicated. And it's gonna go nice and smooth. Okay. So I just want to show you that, and I'll be right back. Now that I have the gas tank off, I could oh well not off but up and out the way. I can show you the negative. How easy it was. It's the negative line right there. It just loops and goes under here. And you can see it over here. There's a factory mounting spot. I just use that same spot with a wire tie. And it just goes right to that ground. I don't know how well you can see it. It's right to a ground spot right there. So it's not tricky, it's not hard, it's not complicated. Probably the most important thing out of all of this thing is the uh, your connections. Make sure your connections are as solid as you can make them. But that's the negative side. So the positive goes to the top of the starter right here. That's oh, you have a better view of the negative contact point. So this is your starter, which is the uh, well, top of the starter anyway, and that's your contact point for your positive line which goes to the starter so look out shouldn't be too much of a hassle so after I snake it out I'll let you guys see what happened okay I used the uh, the factory boot on here on the new line I made the new I ran the new line but I use the same factory boot because it's curved and it'll give any uh, Give a little extra protection to the edges of this contact point so it doesn't anything falls, drop a screw or whatever. So, and also here is the uh, the point that I'm talking about, the mounting point. Those little pieces that I just showed you, they're barbed at each end so that when you put the wire tie, it wouldn't slip off. So, and then there is another little harness loom or whatever they call these things. So, set it up so that it's not leaning on any metal. Going under the seat, back towards the battery. That's nice, That's what's up. And over here, it goes. You just saw over there. I don't know much more you can see, but so here they go. Here goes that loom I just showed. I mean the uh, you know mounting point for the cable right there. It tucks under here. I try to follow more or less the same path. And it comes out, and then here we go. See, I kind of I separated them, made sure that they weren't um, going to wobble or whatever. Even though they shouldn't move at all once you have it tight, but just in case. So that going to get slid back in here. It has these rubber pieces. Let me see if we got enough light. Anyway, this metal piece and that is a mount for this. The lighting is horrible, sorry guys. But anyway, the block, the starter relay, you see that, that tube? A rubber hole right here where my finger is? That's actually kind of like a mount where this metal piece slides in and that's, I guess, keeps it insulated for electrical purposes and grounding purposes, but uh, it also keeps it in place. And what did I just drop? All right, so that's that so far. Now I'm gonna tighten everything up, connect everything, 
and we'll see. By the way, that's not a fancy high-end extra uh, crank, cranking amp battery. It's just a regular, regular battery. Yo, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this a little bit better. Here's the uh, the block. I tightened it with a. Uh, don't just use a screwdriver. You know, you could, don't be tempted. There's a uh, screwdriver, a Phillips. It is a Phillips head, but use a wrench. You tighten these down super tight. I'm not saying break them off, but uh, tighten them down super tight. And now here are the two barbs that the rubber sleeves connect onto. I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you doing this one-handed, but I'll give it a try. Leave it. Leave it, come on. Yo, what Let's go. So, oh, first precaution obviously, remove the uh, pads of positive battery terminal, battery clamp, I should say. So, now there you go. It's slid on, you see? It's on the barb and it's in place. And now I've got to finagle these so that they're not sticking out so far. They should be kind of tucked in. Uh, I'll give you a. I'm gonna have to do this one two handed, so I'll get back to you guys. Okay, battery clamp is on. I'm gonna use uh, I use the same one, even though I didn't think ahead about these extra wires, but anyway, that's on there for now. Uh, that's on, that's on. At least it has the little plus, so it looks a little bit cooler. And it's these are tucked in much better so it'll go fine now with this in place uh, secured red positive line is secured there it's looping around and it's not touching anything that's going to be uh, abrasive or maybe uh, cause a short later and I use the same boot to give it uh, protection in case I drop a screw which uh, I always drop a fucking screw somewhere Alright, so that's on. I'm gonna call this job done. So from the factory seven or eight gauge to four gauge cables. If you're wondering about why didn't you show how to set up a cable, you know, the lugs or whatever you call them, there's like 99 videos on how to do it and everybody's got a different opinion. Use a hydraulic, use a hammer tool, use a this, use a that. I did it with vice grips. If it causes a problem later, you know, maybe I'll invest in one of those fancier tools. But for now, I just did it with vice grips. As fat as these wires are, and they're not, uh, they're not being stressed to a point where, um, uh, you know, there's nothing pulling on them. I should say, that's my point. So there's enough contact there. And uh, the other thing is too, I always use. I don't use the screwdriver. I use the nut. Say eight millimeter you know this way you get a good amount of tightness on there and the same thing for, for the uh, contact points for for the uh, what you call it so the starter relay block and also on the battery I mean on the uh, other end of the positive line to the starter I did the same thing so they're they're well mounted and everything is nicey nice so there is the uh, battery oh my Harbor Freight dolly fucking Makes life a lot easier. <clears throat> Here's the uh, the upgrade. It's your uh, battery cable, starter cable upgrade. Short and sweet. Maybe not that short, but you got got an idea now. It wasn't hard. It wasn't complicated. It weren't anything fancy required. It might have been better if I had one of those uh, hydraulic or fancy crimping tools or whatever. But you know, whatever. It's done. And like I said, if it causes a problem later, then I'll, I'll re, uh, reassemble them. The terminal is actually pretty cheap anyway. Oh, I did use a washer where it connects to the top of the, uh, the starter because the loom or loop or lug or whatever you want to call it. Let's see if I have another one here to show you. Anyway, the lug that I used, uh, the hole was a little bit bigger than the actual factory hole. So just to give it a little bit more surface area what I did is I broke off the loop or washer or ring or whatever you want to call it off of the uh, the factory positive to to the, uh, the line that goes right to the start on the positive line I broke that off and used it as a washer 
so that uh, give me a little extra surface for contact purposes. And that's that's pretty much it. All right, there you have it. Nice and smooth. Laters. Add on note, I forgot this plastic cover. I forgot to put it back on, and I wanted to show you guys. Some people were saying online, there's actually a little divider in there. <laughs> so that resolves the whole issue of is it going to short out or whatever. There's actually a partition in there. But some people were saying that you may have to cut this out or whatever. But, uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, mine seemed to work fine. I didn't have to do any of that. It just popped right on. So, just wanted to throw that on there.